Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about session storage in Redex using React.js. Guys, this is also an important thing because when we are working on the uh, websites, uh, we usually do a lot of refresh sometimes and I don't want to lose my data when I do multiple refresh. So you know, uh, in a previous video, uh, we discuss about the Redex in React.js. That is also a very important video. I will recommend you to watch that video to understand the concept of the Redex because this is, uh, for in my opinion, that was one of the important topic in, for the React. So before get starting, I need to say if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe. My channel name is Amir Parvez and this is a complete uh, React.js developer course. If you go through all the videos, I've, I'm definitely sure that you will become a expert in react.js and if you miss anything while working on the videos you can download the source code from the link i will dis uh, share this link in the description and also uh, i have uh, updated uh, uploaded the yesterday uh, the project uh, which we have worked redex complete project i have also uploaded it up uploaded so you can download and work on it so let's get started guys guys uh, in a previous video uh, we have created this uh, redex application we uh, add some item books like the lion king and author name is james king let's suppose so we add some books and uh, you can see the reflection uh, i added this is a separate component and this is also a separate component these four are the separate components but when i make changes it actually reflect all over the application because of the redex store so today uh, uh, so now you can see if i refresh this page uh, so you can see our data is lost our collection of uh, is actually lost our store get a uh, resets so we need to stop that we need to actually store this data on this uh, session uh, storage so that our, uh, i don't want to lose my data so uh, let's see how we actually we can store our data in the uh, react.js uh, using the with the help of the session storage so let's get started so i'm going to create one folder here folder name is helper great and now i'm going to say it i'm going to add one more file here session storage just great guys so guys uh, actually uh, what is actually session storage first we need to understand this but before that i'm going to uh, tell you uh, what things we are going to cover in this video uh, we are going to see the persist persistence data uh, for only current uh, our tabs because if we close our tab it is going to uh, 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 we, I can say that it is going to lock we are going to lose our data or data is reset uh, for the new tab in the same window and uh, this is like uh, I can say that it like suppose if you log in on some website and on on that particular tab you need to store some data for the user credentials and they, they go into new tab they need to re-log in again or if you have some uh, data which is which you needs to store on the app, uh, browser level so you, you can uh, you store that data in the session storage guys right guys so uh, also uh, the, we can also write our data on the st store session storage and we can also read the data from the session storage so i'm going to show you how we can do that uh, sometimes you want to actually cache some data as well as on the browser level so you do not need to again hit the api or on the back end so so that the performance get uh, better uh, with the time so uh, you uh, at that time you can use this uh, session storage uh, uh, help, help with the hello session story you can store this data and you can use in your application so let's get started and uh, see how we can actually set the data and how we can actually fetch the data from that so uh, while working on this you need to uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and so what i'm going to do i'm going to create const and i'm going to say load state because uh, by default we are in the reducers we are going to load some state by default that is empty so I'm going to say it load state and here I'm going to say it we need to pass some key because we need to uh, name that session because I can have a multiple session on the reducer so we I need to uniquely names uh, give some names to that and also some default values default value uh, because on the load I'm going to say it uh, what default value uh, I'm going to have it I'm going to say try and catch great cool guys if we have error then i'm going to say return default value cool and now i'm going to say it okay now i'm going to say that on on the load uh, state i'm going to say it session storage and here i'm going to actually 
get item and I'm going to pass the key and once uh, on the load start once I'm going to uh, get the item it is actually going to pass the session key which we uh, named it so I'm going to say it um, const and I'm going to say it serialized state so now I'm going to, I will get the key and pass it here so I, I will check it so it's a good practice to check that if is null in that case I'm going to return the default value right otherwise I'm going to say it uh, return JSON parse and we do uh, parse in JSON and going to return this whatever we will get we will uh, do the JSON parse and the JSON part we will actually uh, string into object and will convert a JSON string into an object and will return that great guys so this is how we are actually uh, uh, working on the load state and how we uh, we need to actually store the data in it so I'm going to set const save state and here I'm going to pass again the two parameters key and object object is actually the value we are passing like default value we are going to pass the object let's suppose I'm updating my session state so I need to pass the object what well new value I'm going to pass that it will uh, update that value in the session so let's check this out I'm going to try and here I'm going to say session storage dot now I'm going to set the value so I need to set set item and here I'm going to say key and JSON dot stringify right convert the JavaScript value to a JavaScript object string right and I'm here I'm going to pass the object cool guys and for the catch I'm going to say it catch to say nothing for this right now okay cool so guys you know, uh, this is actually the load state uh, when you uh, when first time our application uh, or reducer get loads here and uh, this is actually a safe state when we are going to update our states and we need to pass the new value to our sessions so let's do a practical example here now i will go here and i'm going to import this load and say i'm going to say load state okay cool uh, I'm going to import it load state comma save state and from where we are getting this we are getting this from helper slash session storage cool guys so this is our actually uh, load state and uh, save state so now I'm going to create one session key session key one I'm going to name it like this and here I'm going to say it books collection this is actually a name of the key okay great and i'm going to say it here load state so here we need to pass the two uh, parameters first one is key the name of the key is actually books collection and the default value is empty great and for the save state uh, after we add it, uh, books item in the collection i'm going to say it save state and here again we need to pass the session key and the new state so new state is actually a book a new books object we need to, it will expe expect so great guys now check this out and see how it's going to work it seems like there is some issue but no i didn't, didn't find an issue here it looks okay to me okay let's check this out Okay, there's some issue. All right, all right. We need to check this out. And I'm going to check here. Con session key one. This looks okay. Session key one, it looks fine. okay great actually the problem here is that we have not export this so that is the reason is it uh, actually showing this error now just check this out and see okay cool so now if i go and add some items here i will say the lion king and name James let's suppose and I'm going to say it very good okay I'm going to remove the debug points 
so now if i see if i if refresh my page you can see here we did we didn't uh, lost the data is not lost but previously uh, our data is lost so i'm going to book two test auth and i'm going to save it so great so now if i go on the back end and press f12 and see on the back end on the session storage uh, here you will actually uh, get the value of the session storage and in my case let me check this out so now if i refresh i have fresh multiple times so it seems like and now in the session storage we can see here uh, the collection of uh, three uh, items in the book book one book two and book three so uh, this is how this actually help us in uh, writing the uh, actually um, caching our data in the storage and it is very helpful you can see here the reflection let me show you again if i click here I, so you can see uh, how uh, these items are adding so quickly uh, okay book test 777 and the author is james bond cool and very good so you can see in, in the session storage our collection is getting update so this is how very uh, this is a very useful and the powerful uh, thing if you need to store our data and you need to refresh again and again multiple times but you do not want to lost your uh, data uh, throughout the application so it's going to helpful uh, in uh, maintaining and making a cache of your data on uh, while uh, your edx stores get resets but your data uh, didn't get lost so thank you very much guys and for watching my video i hope this video helps you in understanding the value of the session storage and redex using the react yes don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and also share the videos with your friends and social media so thank you and keep supporting and liking my videos